Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Borzy, and this is going to be a quick review of two exceptional and underrated products. We have the new CorePad rubber grip tape, and also the BTL Vancer PTFE mouse skates. So to put it simply, these CorePad grips, they might be the best grips on the market. I'll compare them to a BTL grips, which have really been the go-to for the past year. And these new BTL Vancer skates are kind of the tiger iced killer because it's the same experience. Essentially, I'll get into the differences, but you get two sets for the price of $10 as opposed to one set for $8. So at the moment, I would say the BTL Vancer skates are the best value PTFE. Of course, you still have core pads available, two sets for the same price, but I do think that these perform better on control pads than core pads do. Uh, so definitely, if you're a fan of Tiger Ice, but maybe they're wearing down, you've had them for a while, I think the Vancer skates could be something to get, and if you just have stock skates on the Super Light and want to have a faster, smoother experience, uh, probably go for the BTL skates. There's absolutely no problem with the edge rounding, so the initial friction is going to really feel low. The skates definitely play fast, and I feel like they bring some control pads to life, if that makes sense. So if a pad is normally somewhat muddy feeling, uh, these will definitely lessen that. So if you do want a controlled mouse skate, uh, these probably won't be what you're looking for, and I would say standard core pads might be better. Uh, but if you're into the Tiger Ice fast and smooth experience, these are really... Um, some of the best PTFE skates I've used, honestly, like the quality bar for mouse skates, all you have to do is you have to have good adhesive, don't make them too thick to the point they fuck up LOD, don't have them too thin to the point they wear down easily, just have good rounded edges and a good consistent glide, and these really pass all of those checks. Um, I'm not going to overcomplicate things on something like a HIA, a much more textured mouse pad. These will pick up some of the texture, I would say more so than Tiger Ice. They're not quite as um, soft as Tiger Ice, so they do uh, have a bit more grit to them, a bit more dog in them. The BTL skates are 0.7 millimeters thick, which is 0.15 millimeters thinner than core pads, nearly the exact same as Tiger Ice. And honestly, I think in a blind test between these and Tiger Ice, it would be really hard for me to tell a difference. They're just great quality, and what makes them even better is the fact that you get two sets. I see the BTL skates as a best of both worlds because they do still pick up the texture on hybrid pads, but the dynamic friction is very low. Uh, so you get control from either putting more pressure on the mouse or putting pressure on the mouse pad. So the control is definitely there, but it's not the actual skates that are going to be uh, adding that friction. It's up to you. And these still perform great on standard cloth pads. They don't have a rough glide at all. They have noticeably less drag than most types of stock skates. And compared to the old core pads I have as well, the initial friction is lower, um, but still not as low as the initial friction on something like glass skates. So it's a bit easier to recommend these over glass skates because they're PTFE, it's half the price, you get double the amount of skates, and it's a more traditional experience. Like this is closer to stock skates than glass, which are very exotic. Um, they're going to feel smooth on basically every mouse pad and of course have that extremely low initial friction. Glass skates are definitely still controllable, um, so I don't want it to seem like I'm saying they're too fast and don't get them. I'm just saying that this is a more traditional PTFE feel and it's just a better value at the end of the day. But I'll be honest, regardless of what mouse skates you use, whether that be core pads, Tiger Ice, BTL skates, super glides, just anything, um, the differences and improvements are going to be marginal and your performance is going to be more or less the same, but yeah, I just think that the BTL skates are a great entry to the market, and it's hard to say really anything bad about them at the $10 price point, so make sure to check those out if you're interested. I'll leave a link in my description. Definitely getting the seal of approval along with a lot of other mouse skates. It really doesn't take much for a mouse skate to get the seal of approval, but yeah, now I'm going to move on to the core pad grips. Uh, Corpad used to make grips, and they honestly, they were scaly, they were hard, they did not feel good. Uh, so they went back into the lab and made soft rubber grips, and these honestly feel incredible. They're extremely thin at 0.35 millimeters. It's really hard to even show uh, the thickness, or really the lack thereof. So they don't change the dimensions by too much at all. 
they provide these side button grips, which BTL does as well. Uh, but the side button grips are amazing, especially for the super light. Maybe if you're not even interested in the other grips, getting grip tape for the side buttons, it makes them a lot clickier. It helps with the mushiness issue. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's actually a big difference. I don't want to make it seem like I'm just hyping up these little pieces of rubber for nothing. Uh, but the rest of the grip tape, the best thing to compare it to would really be uh, bat grip from lizard skins. I know lizard skins has mouse grips, but they're DIY. I prefer like perfectly fit cut mouse grips out of the box and that's what uh, these provide. I haven't had any issues with the discoloration yet, but keep in mind if you're getting white grips, they will discolor over time. Uh, so yeah, these are the BTL grips and these are the Corpad grips. I'll uh, zoom in, try to give you a high quality comparison of the textures. It's somewhat hard to explain, but you can see that the texture of the rubber is more aggressive on the core pad grips. They even feel thicker, even though they're rated at a similar thickness. Um, they're just a really good grip if you're looking for a somewhat um, rubbery experience. I don't know how to really describe BTL. The main difference is that BTL grips are not going to be as heavily textured. It's just a smoother material. It's um, honestly, it's still perfectly fine in terms of grippiness and just the feeling in hand, but you'll notice that the core pad grips have more texture. I don't really have any problems with either. The core pad grips are $10 while the BTL ones are 12, so it's a marginal difference. But the one problem I guess I had with BTL is when I removed the grips, they stretched out a lot. I'll try to put it on so you can just see how massive it is um, compared to the original size. And this was only from removing it one time. And yeah, you can see the grips are pretty massively discolored and also stretched out a ton. And I did not have that problem with the core pad grips, so potentially long term, the fitment might be better on the core pads. Both of the grips have flat, flat pressed edges, not fat pressed edges, um, to help with the durability as well. And yeah, these are just high quality mouse grips, definitely not a necessity, but if you're not satisfied with a mouse's stock coating and you would prefer a rubbery texture, maybe you want to just increase the size ever so slightly, um, definitely these are some of the best grip tapes on the market. Uh, like I said before, $2 price difference between Corpad and BTL, so I mean, I guess it's technically a better value. BTL does have much more options in terms of colors, and I think a few more models available, but yeah, the availability is pretty good on both. I'm not gonna lie, probably will not be keeping all of the grip tape on my GPX. I definitely will be keeping the side button grips, but on the Starlight, it definitely makes the mouse feel a bit bigger and just overall easier to get a good grip of since it's so small and narrow. I did have to cut the a bit off the top and off of the left side because I got the medium size for my small Starlight. So don't be like me, um, get the right size, but all in all, the experience with these grips has been really good, along with the BTL mouse skates. So like I said, if you're interested in those mods, check them out. Not going to say they will really bring you to the next level, but they are solid add-ons for your mouse. The skates are more important, in my opinion, than the grips. Uh, so yeah, any more questions, ask them below. That's going to be all. Like, subscribe, use code BOARDSY, the whole nine. Peace.